Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you again for joining me. Today I'm going to do a review on the Clay Play Palette by Tarte that came out. I absolutely love this palette. I was so excited when I saw it online because this is one of those palettes that you could travel with easily and it's great for a pro artist to take on set, which is why basically I bought it because sometimes I go out there on set and I have contours and brows and shadows and it's just way too much for me to take so i pretty much have it all in one palette you have nine beautiful colors here three contour colors not to mention this gorgeous huge mirror and a really nice sturdy palette which i always like the sturdy palettes because i feel with some of my other ones that are a little flimsy with traveling sometimes they kind of tend to break on me so you know, I don't like that. Anyway, they're really nice and matte. Every single matte, there's not one shimmer in there, which I kind of miss, but you know what? I was so excited about it, I don't care. Now, it does smell like, it smells like vanilla. Oh my God, it smells heavenly. You know I love everything that smells like food. Anyway, here's some of the swatches and an eyelash that I had cut earlier. But here are the swatches. They're really, really pretty, highly pigmented and super blendable and just really nice and creamy. I absolutely love it. On the other side are the contour colors, which I really like because they're really nice warm colors that are not gonna make your face kind of like dirty looking or anything. I love that sun-kissed look. You know how I love that sun-kissed look. So I feel like you, they hit it right on the spot with their contour colors. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of apply these colors and see how they work on my face. I've actually been playing with it with some of my clients and they actually love this palette. I haven't tried the colors on myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So I'm gonna get my little mirror here and I'm gonna get a little brush because you know, I'm never freaking prepared again. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a transitional color and I'm gonna go into dunes here first. Now I'm gonna apply that on my crease and don't forget to kind of tap off some of the excess color because these are really pigmented and if you go directly from the palette to your eye, you could end up having a big mess. So anyway, here I go, applying to my crease and make sure you smoke that out really nice. And as you can see, they're so blendable. All right, just a really nice color. Then after that, I'm gonna go with Ember. It's kind of that pretty, you know, clay color. I'm gonna go in and just kind of make this a little deeper, which is gonna be really nice for you chiquitas out there that have nice like hazel eyes and green eyes. It's definitely gonna make your eyes pop. Well, actually blue colors, but these are the colors I like to put on girls that mainly have like green and you know, kind of um, my puppies are trying to get in. Their little paws are underneath the door. Anyway, green and hazel eyes. So I'm gonna go in and just Blend that in and you know as you know, I like to blend things in with my finger. All right now I'm going to go in with smoke this brown color and I'm going to apply that in the The outer corners of my eye Just blend 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 and then I'm going to kind of blend it with my finger and kind of just feather it out So then my eyes open up a little bit because I have like these little beady eyes and usually when I'm working on clients, I don't really use my finger. I mainly use a brush. These are so freaking creamy. I mean, I could feel how creamy they are on my, on my eyelids. All right. So now I'm going to go in with that little angle brush right here. And I'm actually going to the contour color, which is timber. I like to apply like a million different colors. And I'm going to go right underneath my lash line. I'm just gonna go all the way to the inner corners of my eye and just smoke it out. All right, now I'm gonna go in with that smoke color again. And then I'm gonna start dragging it underneath so that it is a really nice soft smoke. I really don't like anything nice and harsh. I, well, actually not nice and harsh. I don't like anything harsh. That's why I don't use 
eyeliners underneath because I feel it kind of gives you that that dated look and and you kind of look you know harsh <laughs> just smoking that out and then I kind of start dragging it down a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my Fix Plus and I'm going to dampen that brush. Now I already started off with eyelashes and eyeliner just because you know I'm blind as a bat and it takes forever for me to apply my lashes when I'm not wearing my glasses because you really can't do that. So anyway, I always like to apply an eyeliner before my eyelashes because if you're not very good at getting that band as close as possible to your lash line, then you're gonna see a little bit of the skin peeking through in between the eyelashes and your natural lash line. So, you know, to avoid that, that's why I always suggest doing an eyeliner and then afterwards you could go in with like an eyeshadow and kind of smoke it up on top and make it a little thicker because if you go in with a liquid liner or a pencil and you mess up you could end up having this crazy thick liner I mean unless that's the look that you're going for which is fine but I normally don't like my eyeliner to be super thick so I like to go in with an eyeshadow just to kind of soften it up and if you mess up it's easy to get a q-tip and just kind of you know just kind of like smoke it out a little bit instead of going in there and tugging and having to take your lashes off and you know stuff like that so now I'm gonna go in with the onyx color and I'm gonna go right on top of that lash line and as you could see it's still thin it's just kind of making it a little bit darker and you could give yourself a little bit of a wing eye if you like. I don't really like too much of a wing eye. I mean, I like a little bit, but when I have a lot of eyeshadow, I feel like it's a little distracting when you have all this stuff going on. Hey, poor puppies, they want to come in so bad. But cuckoo pants will start running around, knocking everything over. And the little chihuahua man, well, he's kind of needy, so he'd want me to pick him up. So they have to stay outside for now, poor babies. Okay, there you go. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my fluffy brush. And you know what? I just got these brushes in the mail yesterday and I kind of love them. They're like part of the unicorn family, but I only paid $8 for these. And I actually have more coming in the mail, but these are so, so nice and soft. I mean, a couple of the hairs come off here and there, but they're actually pretty good. So I'll try to find them again and link them down below just in case you like them because they're like seven, eight bucks, seven something. So less than eight bucks. And they're really kind of nice. All right, so uh, back to what I was doing. So I'm gonna go back in there with sand, this color right here, and just kind of highlight, highlight my lid a little. Oh, that's really pigmented. Usually I kind of dab off the, the darker colors, but holy cow balls, that's pretty. And then just blend. I'm actually not used to working with a ton of mattes because I just love my my shimmer. But I'm trying, I'm trying to be good and just do mattes. So I'm gonna go back in there with the timber and just kind of smoke everything out again and just kind of blend everything. this soft smoky look is done now I'm gonna go in with the contour so I'm gonna start off with terracotta is that the color cuz you know I can't see I'm gonna go in with terracotta just to kind of warm my face up a little bit and I like to flick it up because I kind of like to hug my face with that color I'm gonna go around the perimeter, perimeter, how do you say that? Permit. I can't say it, you know what I mean. I always screw something up, I don't know why. I think it's because when I'm really tired, since I've been working like crazy, thank you Lord, I get a little bit like, um, I'm a little exhausted. <laughs> but I love doing my videos, so you have to put up with me saying cuckoo stuff and forgetting stuff and mispron mispronouncing things. Because sometimes that happens to me. When I'm really tired, you know, you can't really think straight. That's me right now. So anyway, here we go. Just really nice and light. 
and don't forget your jawline and I like to do it really nice and soft just because I don't like all these harsh lines or anything like that and this is actually a great color to go on your neck because a lot of times your face is lighter than your body so you got to tie all this in together all right so now I'm gonna go in with timber which is the darkest color and I'm just gonna add a little bit just because I don't like it to be super crazy. And you know what? I kind of notice right now while I'm applying this, as you could see, it is, there's a little bit of a kickback right here. And it's kind of making my face a little dirty, which I really didn't notice that when I was using it on my client because she was a little tanner than I am. So I would be a little careful of this little timber color because I kind of like it as an eyeshadow. But as you can see, now that I'm applying it on my face, it's looking a little bit on the dirty side. And that is like my fear with like contour colors and stuff like that, that it tends to make you look a little dirty. I mean, it's still pretty and you could blend it out, but that's just me. I don't like things to look unnatural. Ooh, but I look really contoured here. But in person, my cheekies are looking a little bit on the dirty side. So anyway, I'm gonna go in with my Milani lip gloss and this is in Bare Secret. And this is a really nice nude color. And as you see, I'm not, or notice, if you notice I'm not using a lip liner because I will jack your face up. I'm very bad at putting lip liner on. Plus, anyway, if you're a lip presser and you're wearing lip liner and you're doing this all the time, your color is going to fade and then you're just going to be stuck with the lip line. So that's another reason why I don't like to use lip liners because I know a lot of my clients like to press their lips. So what I like to do is go right on the natural lip line and kind of it kind of makes your lip look a little pouty in a natural way. So always be sure not to press your lips. And when I apply my makeup or my lips, I always like everything to kind of flow. See how it's kind of flowing? Anyway, thank you again for joining me. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.